Hey everybody, it's Crystal and Cooper and Charlie. Um, it wasn't the plan for them to be here today during this video. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't look like I have a choice. How are you guys doing? I am feeling so much better now that these eclipse energies are starting to settle. Um, last week was very, very powerful leading up to that eclipse energy for me. I am a Leo, so I felt it quite heavily um, in regards to valuing myself and self-worth. And I had a lot of really big revelations that have brought me a lot more peace and a lot more ease. Um, so I wanted to make this video today and I wanted to talk to you guys about some things that I am learning at a deeper level and really understanding how to ground. Um, but first, let's start off with some energy. So over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna feel a lot of this eclipse energy still lingering, but you are gonna feel it start to level itself out a little bit more. It's definitely not gonna be as intense. It's gonna feel like you'll be able to get a grasp on things. Um, now, that is, that is within the realm of making sure that you are holding your own alignment. As these third dimensional energies start to really fall away and we find ourselves creating in more of a fifth dimensional space, it is going to be harder and harder to go back and forth between being in a fifth dimensional consciousness and being in a third dimensional consciousness. It's gonna start to feel really, really bad when we dip. And not only is it gonna feel really, really bad when we dip, it's gonna get harder and harder to get out of that space. The divide between the fifth dimensional consciousness and the third dimensional consciousness is growing bigger and bigger and bigger because we are on the verge of really manifesting this fifth dimensional energy as a collective now. You're gonna start to see more and more and more of the collective waking up, which is going to really challenge some people to stay in their light and stand in their truth. So my guidance as always is going to be keep coming back within don't focus your energy on the external world i know in times when the energy can get really heightened we have this internal desire to go search for what other people are getting so we don't have to feel so alone in this journey a year ago that was really beneficial for our growth because we were still opening in our consciousness but what we are looking at right now is we're looking at this energy that is like, we have given you your upgrades. Like the universe is talking to us right now, right? Saying, we've given you these upgrades. We have given you these big blocks of thought that you've been able to download and assimilate. You understand the ascension waves now and what they're really doing to the body. You understand your empathic nature. You understand where the human collective as a physical body is going, right? We are tuning into telepathy. We are tuning into telekinesis. We are tuning into teleportation. We are tuning into the natural blueprint of the human, the way we were supposed to be back before our realm was manipulated. So with that being said, continue to come back in. If you are one of those people that has had a harder time focusing inward because you don't understand or maybe you don't feel that you know what you're doing, I want you to know that even though you are feeling that way and some of those emotions may be rising up for you, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the time to come within. Even if you're just sitting there going, okay, nothing's happening, what am I doing? Being in that state is saying to the universe, I am willing and ready. And if you're having a particularly hard time right now, my suggestion is to shut down all distractions. Put your phone away, put your computer away, put everything away and spend time loving yourself. Sit down and read a nice book. Do some meditations, not to connect to your higher self, not to connect to your guidance team, not to connect to anything other than your own inner presence. 
we are as a spiritual community so concerned with connecting with these external things even that we don't even understand our own inner energy and the process of embodying the higher self is a process of self-exploration. If you can't know yourself, you're never gonna know your higher self. You're never gonna know your galactic team. You have to begin to really sit and pay attention to your internal frequencies. <sighs> yeah. The other thing that's been coming up a lot is Sorry, I'm just searching for some words. So I'm asking for a little bit of help. Um, what's coming up a lot for me right now is the exploration of projecting your consciousness in a more positive manner. So if you look at the ideals of things like astral travel and astral projection and the ways that you project your consciousness outside of your body, I'm being told by my team that as we open up more fully to these fifth dimensional energies that are coming in, that the next step in this process for a lot of us beings of light is to begin to understand, once you can understand the inner self, begin to understand how to project your consciousness. A great tool for doing that is really digging in and practicing consciously astral traveling. Some of this may be surrounded by a little bit of fear or uh, fear of the unknown. Um, and the guidance that's coming through is just take it step by step. Practice a little bit of some deeper meditations and get yourself to that place where your body really starts to vibrate or you feel the pulling of the consciousness coming up and away from the body, however that manifests for you, but practice it. And if you go into a space where maybe you're catching yourself going, oh, you know, you start to feel those sensations that are bigger and more expansive than what we're used to tapping into. And it can make your heart start to flutter. It can rise up a little bit of anxious um, thoughts. So if that's as far as you make it on day one, beautiful. Sit down with your journal or your notebook and start to write about your experiences and what you were feeling. Also sit and write about what your intention is as to where you're going next. And then in your next meditation, just reach a little bit further. The reason that they are calling for us to begin to explore this new way is because as we move into these fifth dimensional energies, we are going to be fully aware of our present consciousness here in the now moment while projecting our conscious outward um, into higher realms of communication. I don't know 100% where this is going. This is a very large download for me. It's something I've been assimilating over the past couple of weeks. But when I ask my guidance to break it down for me into this step-by-step -step process so I can begin to move forward and share with everybody else how we can all begin to move forward, um, the one thing that they are bringing forward is just take your time, but start exploring more. The willingness to just show up is going to expand your consciousness without you even having to tap into these astral realms. So then you expand and then you come back and you're willing again. And the universe comes in and says, okay, they're ready, they're ready, let's expand. And then we expand and then we come back and we do it all over. So it's just this process of putting forth the energetic effort to meet your consciousness and your awakening halfway. We are in 2019, which is this huge year of collective manifestation. There are so many energies that we experienced over 2018 that maybe we thought were going to manifest into the physical world. And what I realize now going through this energy is that 2018 was the astral realm's way of manifesting the etheric energies, manifesting these fifth dimensional energies within us. We had to raise our frequency on the inside and become aware of who we are on the inside and become aware of our origins that we're not just these humans and these bodies sitting on this earth you know going uh, and going to work every day and coming home going to sleep and then watching some tv or you know we 
we're really understanding that we are so much bigger than that. So within this understanding, um, we have closed out the year. We have all healed so much stuff. So really give yourselves a pat on the back. 2018 was just such a major adjustment for us to really start to understand these energies. And now as we're rolling into 2019, it's the year of manifestation. It's the year of grounding the fifth dimensional in the fifth dimensional energies into us fully and fully beginning to embodying what it means to live from a higher state of love so that we can manifest this new world. We can create this new world. So the other thing that's been coming forward quite a bit is our emotions. Our emotions were originally the way they lined up with the human blueprint. They were made for us to understand our guidance from our higher self and our team. So when you feel certain things on the inside, it is a navig it's a navigational tool for you to say, okay, I don't feel very good when I think this thought. That must mean that I'm not in alignment with my highest truth and I need to adjust that thought so that my meter can put me back towards my path, my highest path. Now, to make this very simple and short, within the matrix realm, within this matrix reality that we live in, there has been manipulation. And part of the manipulation is to get us really confused about our internal energy so that we just don't know who we are. And then when society tells us or our history books tell us, we have to believe it because we don't remember and we don't know. And it's not something that our minds can just figure out because all of the information has been really, really jumbled up and placed into our minds and our thought processes in a very backwards way. So, as we move further into these fifth dimensional energies and into the year of manifestation in 2019, it is imperative that you begin to pull yourself away from emotional reaction. And I mean positive emotional reaction too. When you have an emotional reaction to an external circumstance, you are giving away your power even in your joy, because that thing that can bring you joy can also bring you disappointment. And when you begin to detach and just realize, okay, this is an emotion to a circumstance, which is a habit. And in this moment, I'm going to choose to just take a step back. I'm just going to choose to pause. When we can practice that level of detachment, we can start to see circumstances and ourselves as more than just these emotions. We see ourselves as energy. And when you choose your energetic response based on the energy that you're seeing in front of you, you're able to manifest a whole new world. So as we begin to start to really move into this place, and this is why when you are having emotional reactions to things right now, it feels so inflamed. It feels off because that's not what our emotions were created for. Um, you can, you know, I think Abraham Hicks said it best. It's like your emotional indicator, your emotions within you, it's kind of like your gas gauge, right? When your gas tank hits E, you don't just stop and you're like, oh my goodness, how am I ever going to get out of this? My gas tank is empty. I'm screwed. This is it. I might as well just call it quits, right? I mean, we don't do that. And that, you know, like I love to say, like, that is just so silly. Now, the way you can harness these emotions and start to use them as your guidance system and detaching from having such an emotional response to this external world, you guys, it's really going to put us in this place of understanding our power. Fifth dimensional energy harnesses the frequencies and emotions of love, and that is it. 
And if at any time you are feeling any emotion that is outside of love, that is your gas tank indicator saying you are off track. Line it back up. Come on over. Fill up your tank and allow yourself to get back on the path. Your emotions are your guidance system. Do not be any longer a victim of your own emotions. If you would like to move further into these fifth dimensional realities, start practicing the pause. Start practicing taking deep breaths when you're getting emotional. Start choosing to put the emotions aside. Choose the higher version of yourself. And in that, you will see this year especially, and all years going forward, crazy fast manifestations happening because of that, because in that moment, you take back your power. And when we have our power, we have everything. So, I love you guys so much. I hope you're hanging in there with all this energy. And if you are in the space where you have to be hanging in there, I hope you're working every single moment of every single day to love yourself until your tank is full because you do not have to be subject to your emotions anymore. Um, what else? I think that's it for right now, you guys. Um, thank you for letting my guys come hang out today. There was no telling Charlie no. We call him King Charles. He runs this show. So um, I'm sending you guys all so much love. And I really look forward to connecting with you here shortly. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying taking a lot of time to myself and really understanding myself and my own inner energies. And we've got a lot of new energy showing up. So. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, take a time out and explore what all of this is within you first. Um, am I saying don't pay attention to things that are external? No, obviously not or I wouldn't be making this video. But place more of your energy on your frequency. Get to know who you are. Get to know what you need, what you want. Um, it makes your clarity come in a lot faster and it makes your manifestations show up a lot faster. Um, if your internal energy is very unclear on what you want, it's really difficult for the universe to help you in this co-creative space manifest it. So with that being said, y'all happy Tuesday. Have a beautiful day. I love you so much and I look forward to connecting again soon.